Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration be 2006. This is problem 27. We have the integral from e plus 1 to e squared plus 1 of x cubed minus 2x squared plus 2x minus 1 over x squared minus 2x plus 1 dx. Okay, so we definitely have some unusual bounds on this, but I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. The good news with this is I think both what we have here in the denominator and the numerator in both cases is going to be factorable. So starting with the denominator on this, this is actually a perfect square. This here that I can write as x minus 1 squared. And then we'll keep our bounds on this. And then the numerator is a little more complicated, but just notice that 1 is going to be a root to this. If you just plug in 1 into this, you're going to get 0. So we can at least know that this is going to factor as x minus 1. And then kind of just putting this together in reverse, we see that the rest of this is going to be x squared minus x plus 1. But then what that does is now we have x minus 1 in common in the numerator and denominator. So I'll cancel this with one of these. And then what I can do here is actually kind of group this. I can separate this out, the x squared minus x from this plus 1. And then what we can do is break this up into two integrals. And then this one over here, this is going to be easy. This is just going to be natural log. And then this over here, x squared minus x, I can actually factor that. If I factor an x out of that, I get x times x minus 1. But then what happens is we can cancel x minus 1s again. So then just cleaning this up really quick, we have our bounds. Now since everything's gone here, now this is just x, so we're just doing power rule there. And then we'll just copy down this piece here. And now we'll just go ahead and integrate. So power rule here, we're going to get x squared over 2. Integrating here, we're going to get plus natural log absolute value x minus 1. And we can just evaluate all this from e plus 1 to e squared plus 1. And to finish it off, let's just evaluate this. So first evaluating at e squared plus 1. So we're going to have, this is going to become e squared plus 1 over 2, the e squared plus 1 squared. Then here we're going to have plus natural log absolute value. When we plug in e squared plus 1, e squared plus 1 minus 1, the 1s are gone, and we just have e squared here. And then for the next part, we're going to have minus, plugging in e plus 1, we're going to have e plus 1 squared over 2. And then for our natural log part, again, the 1s are going to cancel out with the minus 1, and we just have natural log of e. Well, natural log of e is just 1. Here we can pull a 2 out. Again, this is just natural log of e, so this piece here is going to be just a 2. Okay, now let's see if we can get some simplification. I'm going to square this out, and we're going to have here, this is going to become e to the 4th plus 2e squared plus 1 over 2, just the plus 2 here. Then minus, this is going to be squaring this out, this is going to become e squared plus 2e plus 1 over 2. And distributing minus to the plus 1, this is just going to give me a minus 1. Let's see, 2 minus 1, this is just going to become a 1. So putting this together, we have e to the 4th plus 2e squared plus 1. Then this stuff, minus e squared, minus, distributing in the minus sign, minus 2e, minus 1, all over 2. And then for this plus 1, let's write it as 2 over 2 so I can combine it with all this stuff. Now, 1 minus 1, that's a 0 there. 2e squared minus e squared gives me 1e squared. So putting this together for my final solution, we just get e to the fourth minus 2e plus 2 all over 2, and that's it. No. So putting it all together for my final solution, we get just e to the 4 plus e squared minus 2e plus 2 all over 2, and that's it. Okay, so there you have it. It wasn't that hard, but I think we had a lot of cleanup at the end. The evaluation of the bounds was probably the hardest part, or at least the longest part. So that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.